Hello everyone, in this video we shall be talking about preparation scheme for PLAB1 exam. Watch this video till the end for full information and you may message us on our Instagram or Facebook in case of any queries, link in description. This video contains following details, you can see description below for timestamp if you want to jump. First of all, let's talk about pattern of PLAB1 exam. PLAB1 exam is a pretty straightforward exam with 180 MCQs on various topic. The exam is 3 hours long which means you will be only getting 45 seconds to solve each of your question. The questions given are case-based question directed to our case assessment, clinical findings, diagnosis and treatment. Now you need to know about the areas that are to be covered before you sit for your PLAB1 exam. You can download this content from link in description below, but what you need to know is that PLAB1 is more directed towards clinical subjects and incorporates areas such as hematology, cardiology, respiratory medicine, gynaeops, psychiatry and many more. Now let's talk about materials required for PLAB1 exam. First one is Dr. Khalid's 1700 MCQs which is a collection of MCQs from previous PLAB exams. These MCQs are basically recall questions, so there's high chance that some of the answer keys could be wrong. So what you need to do is study, analyze and discuss answers on your own. For this purpose, you can join Facebook groups, Viber groups, Telegram groups in order to discuss MCQs and gain materials for PLAB1 preparation. Next is stuff that you can't miss is Samson notes. These are hands out or concise notes on all the topics to be covered. These are the two materials that you can't compromise or can't negotiate in between before you sit for your PLAB1 exam. That means it's a must, must and must. Now, we will be talking about books to be followed. First one is Davidson Medicine. As we all know, Davidson is Bible for medical students. In case if you have enough time, you can go through Davidson because it's ocean of information. It's okay if you are unable to go through Davidson's medicine before exam, but you can't afford to miss Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine before sitting for your PLAB1 exam because it's like Bible of PLAB1. If you have enough time, let's say if you are preparing for PLAB1 exam from your med school, then you can go through handbooks for subjects such as psychiatry, gynaeops. If not, the list you can do is go through handbook of clinical specialities. Once you are done with your preparation and before you sit for your real PLAB1 exams, the thing that's most important is assessment before exams. And you can do this through many ways. First one is PLABable. They are widely trusted for PLAB exams. They help you not only assess yourself, but also prepare accordingly. They have MCQs on various subjects and also a vast range of MCQs bank. You can go to their site, enroll for a trial and subscribe for online courses if you are satisfied. Another one is Samsung Online Courses. They are most updated platform for PLAB1 exams. Not only this, they also guide you for PLAB2 once you are done with PLAB1 and they also have provision of clinical assessment practice. Now the final thing. The only key to succeed is revise, revise and revise. You can practice MCQ series with us in Vidison Medicine as well. You can see other doctors, other PLAB warriors such as Dr. Nazir Khan. It is said that PLAB1 is just a course of about 4 weeks. And if you practice accordingly, if you have enough time and if you begin just from now, then you can surely, surely, surely crack PLAB1 exam. So all the best. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every week.